waiving her, her bail hearing and, and hoping to get early trial dates set. Our hope is that we'll be able to get sometime in March that uh, would work for uh, trial dates. She entered not guilty pleas to all counts. Um, we have received a preliminary package of disclosure and we anticipate uh, providing the Crown with certain information which uh, would, would potentially lead to uh, alibi evidence that would be able to um, be examined by the police in this case. That's what we're hoping um, uh, occurs. Um, it, it's a situation where uh, we thought that given the circumstances of this that it was best for Ms. Emerson to remain in, in custody pending the trial, at least for the time being, given that uh, she certainly has some concerns that uh, her release in the community could cause safety uh, issues for her um, insofar as uh, when this event is alleged to have occurred, she was in custody at the time and uh, is frankly shocked uh, that, that uh, she's being implicated by um, the police in the case. Um, we do have, as I say, some preliminary disclosure on the matter and, and she, to say that she's disputing the allegations uh, would be an understatement. She's uh, shocked um, and, and we'll be uh, hoping to set a provincial court trial date to um, to hopefully exonerate her as soon as possible. The allegations against her, uh, there, there's a suggestion certainly that all the different areas targeted were places that that uh, she had some relationship to. Um, to say that she feels that someone is, is uh, framing her or, or putting uh, the spotlight on her uh, falsely uh, would be an understatement. I mean, and she's concerned that her release into the community could lead to further problems in that regard.